computer. Good day everyone, so for today's lesson we will discuss here the topic about the conditional control structure. So in this lesson we will explain here what a conditional statement is in programming. We will apply also the conditional statements in creating a program. We will also compare the different conditional statements and we will write conditional statements using C Sharp. So a program is not usually just a linear sequence of instructions. These are, there are cases when the program flow changes based on the input by the user. During this process, the program may repeat several instructions or may take decisions. In a point-of-scale system, example is here in the grocery store, which is commonly used in grocery or department store checkout counter, when a customer is purchasing more than one item, the system repeats the process of accepting orders or items. The system will also make decisions to verify whether the payment will be made through a credit card or not. This process or these processes are called control structure in programming, which will be covered in this lesson. Now, decisions are normally based on information. Apparently, the more relevant the data, the better the decision. Have you ever had more than one condition before making your final decision? Now, in programming, you also need to make conditions and decisions to be evaluated by the program. In this lesson, you will convert those statements in the decision symbol into a source code using C Sharp. So let's proceed with the control structure. A control structure controls the flow of execution in a program. It enables a programmer to combine individual instructions into a simple logical unit with one entry point and one exit point, which is the true and the false. A program cannot always be limited to a linear sequence of instructions. It may encounter decision making or a repetition of instructions where a control structure is needed. A control structure will enable a programmer to add a command of condition or repetition. Example of control structure that needs decision making are the grocery cashier and the grading system. Now, let's have the conditional statement. What is a conditional statement? Conditional statement is the process of assessing two or more conditions that is evaluated to either true or false. Same as the operators or the relational operator and the logical operators. It normally uses the if statements together with logical operators. Conditional statements implement programming logic. The Boolean values produced by a conditional statement can result in another set of instructions. In this section, you will learn to use if, if else, and nested if as a statement to put decision making in C sharp program. Let's have first the if statement. Let's have first the if statement. If a statement is used to execute a statement if the condition specified resulted to true. The condition will be ignored once it resulted to false. Ex example is structure of if statement is this one. If your grade is greater than or equal to 75, it will result to a true and it will output or print the pass and once your grade is not greater than or equal to 75, it will ignore and it will result it to false. That's the if statement. Now, let's have the if else statement. It is used if you want your program to do something else if the condition is not met. The statements in the else body will be executed if the condition resulted to false. Example here is this one. The next one is the nested if statement. It is used... Or the nested if statement is used if ever your condition consists of another condition. It allows you to evaluate multiple Boolean expressions and execute different codes for more than two conditions. Example structure is this one, the nested if selection structure. If the condition is more than one, the else if keyword is used to declare the other conditional statements. If the first condition is true, Another condition will be evaluated by another condition. That's the nested if statement. Let's review our topic for today. Control structure controls the flow of execution in a program. It enables a programmer to combine individual instructions into a simple logical unit with one entry point and one exit point, if true or false. The commands for conditional statements are 
if is when the condition is true, the statement is executed, and once it's false. The statement is ignored or not executed and the program continues right after this conditional structure. If else is used if you want to specify what will happen if the condition is false. And it uses the else keyword and lastly, the nested if or a condition has another condition inside it. So that's our topic for today about the conditional control structure. I hope that you have learned something from today's discussion. And if you have learned something today, don't forget to give this video a like and comment your question in our comment box. See you on our next topic. Goodbye and God bless.